Huh? Okay. Ah. What in crude oil or whatever the extraction we are doing means uh, yeah. the three things we are going to come. What are the product? What is the mixture? The crude oil is some mixture, right? The from that the yes. main components we are going to extract. What are the extraction we are going to do mainly? Can, if you tell means the first thing is oil. The second will be the gas. Yes. And then yes. water. So these are the three things we are going to extract. So for yes. this extraction purpose, some equipment arrangement is layout needed. Yes. Some layout arrangement yes. is required. So yes. for oil, oil means we need something. Some yes. equipment arrangement we need, right? Yes. For yes. oil, for oil, oil extraction. Yes. So yes. each and everything here, I made some own concept. The concept is that. For uh, there, I uh, simply first of all we will list out some equipments name which we know. We already okay. know that separate. Yes. And then what are the equipment you are aware? It's uh, is... like the HP separator, test separator, LP separator, and then the what is the. Uh, so that is uh, man, uh, uh, more, totally it's a separator that will be in a HP high pressure, low pressure, medium pressure or like that it will be there. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. One more test, so, test separator. Yeah. Maybe. Based on the stages, first stage, second stage, third stage, we can tell. So like that the separators yeah. will be available. Then what yes. are the next equipment you can see? See the you heater know. like, heater or coalescer? Heater. Heater, ah. it's a crude oil heater, we can tell. Ah, oil heater, crude oil yeah. heater will come. Yes, yes. Then pump. Then pump. Hmm. Oil pump will come yeah. into picture. Then yes. electrostatic collaser, you told. Ah, yes. What this equipment the function or this equipment I always forget for the for the sequestration or what? This. I will tell you what is the purpose and what the thing going to happen in each and everything. I will tell you detail definitely. Hmm. So electrostatic collaser and then what is the equipment you came from? Then in the tank already do it at a. Uh, one more cooler, Coolers yeah. will come. Uh, cooler, cooler will come will into come. picture. Yeah. Oil yeah. cooler will be there. Gas cooler will be there. Something like that. Uh, Any coolers will come into picture. Mm -hmm. okay. Then maybe the meter link system. Uh, then some of the meter link system. Uh, we will uh, tell first list out the main things, and then okay. uh, uh, so pump heaters. Maybe the slug catcher will come into picture. Oh, slug catcher. Slug catcher before the separator, is it? Or after? Yeah, it's a before the separator, it has to come. So, that is the thing. So, the arrangement we will see. Now, we will list out what are the equipments we mm -hmm. know of. Mm -hmm. So, slug catcher will come. And then, uh, if you come to the gas separation, uh, yes, sometimes sir. the compressor will come into picture. Yes. And then, Rubber, rubber will be there. Compressor. And then, then what are the thing will be there? The cooler already cooler. I mentioned. Okay. Then why the they have some uh, what? And then the special thing is that is the glycol contractor will be there. Contact contact glycol. connector. Oh, connector will be there. Then, uh, then glycol connector and its skid will be coming to the picture. And okay. then uh, the other components here maybe the compressor will be in first stage, second stage, like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That HP yeah. medium, low pressure, yeah. like yeah. that, it yeah. will be coming. And yeah. then, uh, then we come to know is that. Um, the production's hydro cyclone. Hydro cyclone is a uh, yeah water water. Yes, hydro cyclones right? will come. Is there? Uh -huh. And degasser will come into picture. 
Ah, uh, yeah, the gasser, yes. Uh, and then, then sand filters. If required, some sand filter will come into picture. If any sand okay. particles are there, okay. the sand will, will come into the picture. Then hmm. KOD drum will come into the picture. This for the player signal kick of John. The KVD terms means the exhaust gases will be collected and from that it will go to the flare tip. Right? Okay. The flare tip. Yeah. All the exhaust yeah. gases ah. will be collected and uh, that will be transferred to the flare tip. So yeah. most probably yeah. Yeah. this is the vessels and which available in the FUSO. This for for the oil for the oil and gas for a few years so they have for the water injection so? water injection and water treatment okay that also we can take, take care water injection so I, the, these are the things which will be look like a hero heroes we can tell. The remaining okay. things are all considered as uh, other characters of any film. If you take one big budget films, that means these are the main characters which we can take in care. And if these are the equipments, is the main things which will be related to directly the separation of this oil and gas and water. The uh -huh. involving, main involving, main characters, these are the vessels. Apart okay. from that, only the thing is the water injection, uh, launchers, receivers, if come in, gas injection, receivers, launcher re receivers will come into picture. Gas injection also, gas leak. Yeah, water injection or gas, gas injection. Few gas. Few gas. Yeah, whatever, the water or gas injection, the launcher receivers will come into the picture. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then, most probably, this is the main equipments we have to know. Based on that only, the list, uh, the separation list, we, it will be there. As per your mentioned, the topics you mentioned uh, through Rich, I got the topics details. You mentioned some mm -hmm. topics, right? Yeah, yeah. No problem, then we can adjust it. Not need, no need to exactly follow the, the sequence or whatever. I just list out. I want to know most of the FPSO, most important uh, thing is there. I just list out. We no need to follow the exactly, exactly one. We just cover most of the. Yeah, in that, the which one will be coming in which yeah. thing? What yeah. I'm going to say is that, so here, these are the topics, mm -hmm. right? So these are the 17 topics. In that, what which lines will come into this picture which one will come yes. into this one like that yes. i will tell you so which yes. equipments will be arranged in each things okay like that i can tell you that is the details you need right in a separator yes, yes, yes. separator need... means what will come into the picture right that is the thing then, so here yes. i will make it here uh, so now we have some understand these are the equipments will come and model name means this is the model here uh, the exact module name i will segregate here first here crude oil separation and stabilization and crude oil storage and offloading this is the one set one set one module no only they can book yeah yeah so this is one hmm. modules separator yeah. is a just a vessel is not a module Okay, separator yeah, is a vessel. This is a vessel name. It's not yeah, a module. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. This is a combination of some equipments we consider as a module. Yeah. So this is yes. the exact name. This is final. Yes. Pakka. Yeah. And mm. KOD drum and flash test and all is a equipment name. So this mm -hmm. is not the module. Okay. Inlet and product testing fold means this is the uh, pipings connections we can name it as this one so we can't consider this as a model this is considered in the pipe racks it will come so from yeah. the turret to the uh, separation module some 
bridge connection lines has to come right that lines was considered as a inlet production and test manifold mm-hmm. from the turret turret to the mm-hmm. turret mooring system will be there right mm-hmm. from turret mooring system to the gas separation module the entry is there means some line connection is there that line is connection is called as the inlet production and test manifolds mm-hmm. so it's a pipe the passing uh, piping connection between the turret and the separation module and then this this modules the gas lp mp and hp and the dehydration module this is mm-hmm. the another yes. set of modules Okay. Here some okay. equipment arrangement will be there. This is we can consider this. This is the first stage and the second stage and third stage. Yes. Yes. Like that we yes. can tell. Okay. Yes. And then yes. And the production water produced water treatment module is the one thing. Mm-hmm. This is the another module. Mm-hmm. So that means the arrangement we can tell. This uh, water injection module, right? Production water. This uh, water injection, ah. Uh. Yeah, right. With the water injection, after the pro- pro- water was produced, uh, ah. then that has to be injected. That has to be largely received from one location to another location. What is the thing? And how to do the production? What treatment? That is the thing. Yeah. And uh, yeah. these things are the uh, supporting for this. So from here, there are the three byproducts we are going to get. these are our by products right here yeah, yeah. oil will be going to do here and mm-hmm. gas will be going to take place as per this method and yeah. water has to be take place as this is the production water method okay 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 so our crude oil extraction happened means in that oil gas and water are the by products this is the products which we are going to give as the final output for that which water are the modules which taking care means these are all the modules which coming into the picture mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. clear so here yeah. pipe prep means it's the connection point It, this will be pipe racks means what the yes. interlink connections from one module to another module everywhere the pipe racks will yes. be the right from yes. module to module yes. all the module connection the pipe racks will be coming to the picture yes so for everything uh, the pipe rack has to be taken care so we have to keep the yes. pipe rack here mm mm-hmm. so more every module connection was pipe rack will be there so this is the thing and then the flare system from the g- gas wherever the gas was uh, every every vessel the vent and the drain will be there right every yes. vessel the, the vent and the drain nozzles drain will be there yes yeah, yeah. the vent will be there and then the drain will be there yes so drain means what which one we consider as a drain they had the, the i think this one is cogen ah cogen oh yeah what i think that uh, uh mm. there are three things uh mm. the, the most probably uh, the outlet uh, if the nozzle is there means for um, some as if the any vessel is there means definitely the nozzle arrangement will be there the top nozzles in that which fluid will be get out and in the bottom nozzle which fluid will be come out can you oh, tell yeah. me yeah what bottom nozzle yeah, means bottom. which fluid yeah. oil water oil and water oil water water and oil will come into the picture yeah, yeah so yeah. top nozzle means that the gas only yeah, will be coming yeah. at the yeah. outlet yeah. yes yes so based on this only the vent arrangement the drain arrangement also will be there and the, the nozzle arrangement for these three will be the same like this only 
the nozzles will be arranged so from this only we can understand uh, what is the fluid what is the equipment what is the fluid will be going inside and like that we can have some understanding mm, mm. this one here yeah. so apart from that from if any the gases are coming outside that gases has to be collected and that has to be go to the thing so that means the kvd drum will be come into the picture yeah yes yes this yeah the kvd drum the knockout drum will collect no, the no, yeah. gas gas and from all the equipment or from all the thing wherever the gas was extracted that will be collected from each and every thing every module every equipment and if the gases are uh, if you want the gas to exhaust if we not in the not purpose not going to use means that all the gas is collected from all the vessels and that has to be come to the kvd drum and from the kvd drum it has to be go to the flare tip flare tip hmm. Then yeah, I don't know where why they have this flash water kick or drum. Ah, this one look like long whisper there on clacker nah. I don't know. So that's why I put in here because the kick or drum I know. The kick or drum okay. is for the system for the HPLP I know. So that's why I put in this one is because they have, I think this take from the clacker APS or. I don't know where you collect this topic name from. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, everything is recorded, right? Uh, sure, I will tell you, explain each and everything. Uh, no issues, everything. Uh-huh. This also the modules only. This also, this modules also in if you so it's available. Uh, yeah, it's yeah. Uh, not. Uh, the thing, the thing is that requirement because the sea water treatment module is a requirement wherever the wa- sea water is have some salt content, right? Yeah, they are the lead pump. Yes. Here, this FUSO will be in a hull. In the hull, the humans also working for drinking purpose. Also, they need some water for that general purpose. For the rough use, also they need some water. Mm-hmm. So all the purpose and all, what they are going to do is that they are going to use the sea water only. Mm-hmm. So. they will make uh, inject or uh, they will extract the sea water and for any purpose if cooling has to take care means the water is required for heating means yeah. the water is required so like that if for this we need some inlet fluid the water is required for that what they will do they have the heat e sea water treatment module in that the sea water was extracted and it was uh treatment it was uh, uh, we are treated that water and using for the purpose if the sea water have some salt content right mm-hmm. we have to remove the salt content and if mm-hmm. you want the drinking purpose means we have to do the osmosis and we have to make it as a drinking water if you want to heat the water means we need some boilers and we have to heat and we have to supply to the exchangers for heating purpose and if you want to cool means we have to use some the cooling equipment vessels uh, then we have to use for the cooling purposes so for each and everything wherever the water is required we are going to get that supply from the sea water treatment module only mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and then for each and everything we need some power supply the electricity yes. Yes. so no other way the power sector that uh, boiler thermal power yeah. plant or something that has to mm-hmm. come into the picture so only yes. the steam generation module also will be inside the mfso they need the power yes. supply for each and everything so for yes. that the boiler also come into the picture here the process the code p31.1 will come into the picture and based on that the analyst method will be going to take care yes okay and then yes. flue gas system means wherever the gas is required if the gas is used for heating or gas is used for cooling purpose what is the thing so that means uh, then then lpg gases and what are the thing glasses for the heating cooking uh, for everything we need some gas or whatever the, the requirement inside means from that the gas system will be there from there we can get the details okay 
Mm-hmm. Fuel gas is for the supply to the gas turbine. Yeah, that is the requirement for weather. For any gas turbine we required, we can use oh, for the or for whatever, the, whatever the purpose. Hmm. Wherever the requirement is there, we can use. So, these three will be, uh, is the supporting thing for all the thing, right? Sea water and mm-hmm. steam generation and flue gas. Here steam will be yeah. generation that will be used for the power generation, the electricity. And then the flue mm-hmm. gas also used in, uh, in, is uh, purposely used for the turbine, for gas turbine is there. Otherwise it's used for some other heating or uh, whatever the thing requirement, the flue gas will be used. So these are the mm-hmm. things that supporting thing. the main main characters are these are the modules. Mm. So these are the main modules, uh, main equipments which you have to know and you have mm-hmm. to learn. If anyone asked, if any you are going to attend any interview, they will ask how to do the oil separation means you have to tell this is the modules. Mm-hmm. And in that module, what are all the vessels are coming into picture? Mm-hmm. This that detail? I know. Mm. Lolly the process flows, uh, Lolly I know. I not that not not into uh, the detail that that uh, how we going to do it the in the piping how they going to run it how we do do the analysis this for this oil oil and gas compression I know how the lovely diagram. So can you tell me what were the vessels will coming in the cool separation model? Cool separation. Ah. We have what are all the vessels or equipment from the list we have? Which are all the things will be coming for the crude separation? Can you tell me? Who separation? We have the separator, right? Who cheese separator, right? Sorry? Uh, separator. Separator. Uh, yeah. Before that, maybe if slug catcher is required, means the slug culture also will be coming to the picture. Uh, thing is, I'm not so sure why the slug catcher. Uh, slug catcher is a. Uh, uh, is it same at the separator or not? Because I see some some people call slug catcher is a call separator also. Yeah, based on the requirement, uh, if slug catcher is required for that location, the, the fluid which we are going to extract have more slug means, the other way the slug catcher will be coming to the picture before the separators. All these slug catcher can combine, uh, integrate to this uh, separator inside? Yeah, of course it will be there, but if sometimes the slug density was more uh, that means if you want to avoid uh, the working process in the production separator, we can use the slug catcher before the separator. We can install the slug catcher. Some projects I seen slug catcher will be come into picture. The old projects under. Before the separator, the slug okay. catcher will be there. Okay, maybe later it's only. Okay. Yeah. Uh, some projects is there. It's not necessity. If required, it's based on requirement only. Do you have some equipment to 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 show me this uh, slug catcher? Yeah, I will check it. Because I already because I see on the YouTube they some using the pipe. Yeah, uh, they learn as like the pipe. Sorry, what are you trying to say? Uh, this slug catcher, actually, mm-hmm. you, you, they has they sounds not using the equipment. You, they using the part. They using the like the slow part. Something then they, they at the lowest point they collect the slug. I like that. Let's say I have also the opening the some YouTube only. What is mm-hmm. the purpose? You will see my screen, yeah, right? Yeah. See, uh, during the normal operation or picking operation, the accommodated fluid and gas will be coming. 
mm. uh, entering the main pipeline to the slug catcher from the main the manifold from this is the manifold or something means from that the slug is uh, will be going into the slug catcher so the due to the heavy density sorry the slug is the just a minute so this is the line which collecting the thing so it is the vessel here the separation yeah. is taking care so if you see as per this, this is a graphical thing only uh, you can able to understand uh, here yes. the so pipe main pipeline enter via main pipe to the slug catcher area so if it's coming means the fluid mixture gas slug water and other fluid particles which is coming into the pipeline and yes. see this is the line it was coming mm -hmm. inside and it was going into the slug catcher yes so yeah. see it was the slug due to heavier density contains the slug will be stay here and then the gas water and liquid particles will go inside the catcher only the water liquid the remaining things and all the slug the sand which everything will be deposited here and the fluid water will be coming inside and here the gases will be uh, when go through the nozzles gases alone with the scrubbers there is a scrubber inside the gas was separated and that will be going in the top nozzle you mm -hmm. can see right yeah and then some co collaged water flow into the figure and then some that uh, unwanted water the collaged water means the which the water which have desalting uh, the water have some salt content and uh, that will be coming again direct again it's back going back to the slug catcher only. but there's some uh, reverse process only so it's trying to remove because of the scrubber the gas was removed and then uh, the remaining salt content sand content was removed here and then the water everything will be removing but the oil was separated oil oil where the oil go let's see we will see the full video the gas is totally dumped out flowing through the high pressure yog geared equal merge pad that is resin from the maximum gas volume maximum liquid carrying of 0.1 kilogram or less removing 90% of the droplets larger than 5 microns in the diameter all the gas from the slug catcher scrubber can flow directly to the glycol gas dehydration connector or gas fitting section without the need for any intermediate separation so here some scrubber will be there from that scrubber the gases alone was separated and it's going to the uh, gas separation module gas goes through the uh, demister with the minimum liquid carrier which collect the liquid droplets flow into the finger because of the gravity here if any water content was available in this gas means that was again it's going to this uh, flow that uh, the finger collector this is the collector of the remaining the waste particles so it will again coming down the gas alone it will be going to the gas separation module and the water and the other remaining particles will come down so like that only the vessel inside the, the work will be going to happen and they mention see the green color the gray color will be the gas and the liquid particles and the slug and so it's going to the gas dehydration so see this is going to the thing so the so slug which awesome. collected it was coming outside the better with the oil on this this flow okay the wall down in the slug catch control the level increases okay to control gas correction 
any gas collected in the figure so if any gases in that uh, slug means then again that will be collected back and it will be going to the demister and it will be because of the scrubber again it will be segregated separated and it will be collected again so if yes. in the, the slug line if that is still any gases are missed that will be recycled bypassed yeah. to again to the thing that, that is mm. the arrangement in the slug catch mm. So this is the side view. It's on site. Yes, yes, it's on yes, site. Yes. This is the thing. This last time I see, uh, this one is the biggest one in the in the world. They have to say, slug catcher. Mm-hmm. The big one. This one five. So this is the thing. Reduce the footprint with a subsequent saving in material and workmanship. Reduce the figure length with a saving in material and workmanship. This time, good for insulation. this will be possible to avoid the uses of the production separator so that is the thing if you using this slug catcher we can avoid the production separator like that they mentioned so that is the <laughs> statement you are telling right so it's a farm they are using the this we can't think that I don't know the because you are talking about the slug catcher so I just not sure what is the different way this uh, separator you know they are called they are called because last time I see this video there some some other video the slug catcher so it kind of different is with the separator it slug catcher is required yeah see I have some on block diagram in your block diagram you see the arrangement how they are made right mm-hmm. the slug catcher and then the production separator from the slug catcher oh, the two lines okay. will be there gas so gas will be going to the scrubber and the oil will be going to the production separator okay so like that everyone the pump will be there so from the slug there is a pump and then separator so this is the crude separation module But but from this all slug catcher way the slug flow here they never saw. Sorry. The slug flow where the slug flow flow out line. So if they didn't mention here the outlet will be going outside right. So this is the the main Another line only they are here. telling. the main okay. the main nozzles only we have to tell right as per my mm. uh, thing is that i already told here as per mm. image the gas will be going upward and the water or oil that will be coming inside and the remaining things the remaining nozzles will be the right as per this block diagram you can understand uh, from yeah. the slug catcher uh, the okay. uh, gas will be go to the scrubber and then the oil will be go to the separator yes correct. so that is called the crude oil separation so we can understand that what is that crude oil separation it is that means what we can write here so slug catcher will be there and then in the production separator will come into the picture mm-hmm. and in between that one pump also will be coming so these are the arrangement the main mm-hmm. equipment arrangement Pump. So these are the main our uh, equipments which coming into the picture. That is crude yes. separation model. Yes. So we have to understand. Then mm-hmm. the next which coming is the crude stabilization model. Here, what are all the thing will come into the picture? Stabilization. What is the name? Stabilization. Stab- definition, you know. Hmm. H A I. Is. If you search it, stability. Stability means the state of being stable. 
so like that they mention so okay. stability so in mm. that the definition as per the internet we go mm. stabilization is the process of making something physically more secure and stable mm. so that means we are going to make something more secure and stable means without any extra components or if anything is there means we have to remove and we have to get the pure quality by product and that has mm. to be taken care of, right so here as per this the the by product from the crude which we are going to take is that oil yes so for that here some uh, sls equipments will be coming into the picture what is the thing will be coming into the picture means the electrostatic collider will be coming mm. yes collider what is the purpose of electrostatic collider means if any salt content will be there that will be removed mm. if any so. water content is there that will be removed mm. So it's a so desalt. Remove the sink. Tell me, go yeah. Okay. The sink. Sorry. The sink. Sink. S A N T. Remove the sink. Yes. Particle. Yeah, sand also is there. Sand means the sand filter is required. If sand filter is there, means we can have the separately sand filter before that. Otherwise, uh, after that, we can make. Okay. most probably electrostatic collider means the salt content and the water content has to be removed i think mm-hmm. here the slug catcher will be there in that the sand also it will be filtered we can tell before that arrangement okay so okay, like this if you see the arrangement if sand filter is required means we can keep before this no issues but Maybe here most the probably the, the sand before filter the i think if you there is a sand content means the slug catcher sand filter and then only the production separator like that only the arrangement has to be there hmm definitely because there we can't provide the sand filter after separator the slab, uh, that means as per your statement if sand filter is coming into picture means the sand filter no, sure, has I to be sure. keep first the sand filter has to be keep first then only the slug catcher mhm okay the sand filter has mm-hmm. to come into picture then only mm-hmm. the slug uh, sand sand was filtered then slug was the remaining uh, any other particle was there that also will be filtered and then only it will be going to the production separator Mm-hmm. Like that only we can conclude. So from the production separator, it will be going to the crude stabilization unit. In crude stabilization unit, what are the things will be coming into the picture? Means the electrostatic collider will be there, and then if we want to reduce that some temp pressure in the vessel or in, like that means. here the production separator or another separator will be coming into the picture that yeah. separator is called lp separator another separator is the lp separator mm-hmm. so lp separator is another separator that will be coming into the picture mm. the final one the new gas yeah let's stay mm. so lp separator will be coming and then only the after this lp separator these are the two things here the mm-hmm. stabilization will be happen stabilization means we are removing the unwanted things and we are making mm-hmm. our product stability yeah. securely we are making the oil 
so that will be going to happen after this lp so again if this lp separator is uh, not work out means then we can add extra another separator llp separator we can make it extra low again low we want to reduce that pressure again means we can use another separator also the stage one oh, stage two like that we can consider okay so ultimately production separator lp separator llp separator everything was same work only but here based on the pressure temperature it the variation will be there and each stage if it's again again the filtration process is going to have separation process is going to happen means we can get the pure content right yeah that is the arrangement and then yes. the crude oil storage this thing will be coming into picture means Mm-hmm. Only, only thing. Mm. Then the final thing, this is the crude oil means here after from the LP separator, the fluid, the oil has to be cool. Yes. Yeah. We yeah. have to cool yeah. it. We mm-hmm. have to cool it, and then mm-hmm. it will be has to offload. We have to we have to make the storage tank. And it has to be stored in the tank, and it has to be offloaded. Yeah. The cooler is uh, make the oil to the sixty degrees Celsius, right? Mm, yeah, like well, forty degrees, less than like that only. Forty degrees, sixty degrees, like that, based on the requirement. That much okay. temperature only they will maintain. Uh, in my in for some project, I will see forty degree, like that. 40 to 45 degree only the cooler. I think maximum is maybe 60. Uh. We go go inside to the storage tank. Uh, my scope sandal 40 to 45 degree only the crude oil temperature will be maintained. Okay. So from that the storage tanks will be there a uh, cargo tank we can tell. From that mm-hmm. it will be the crude will be collected and it will be going to be used. Uh, okay. that it will be offloaded and that uh, it will come to the on shore mm-hmm. mm-hmm. so this is the going to happen in the offshore we, with the help of fuso this process will be going to happen and then the mm-hmm. crude that oil was separated and then that crude oil will be collected and that, that will be offloaded to the on shore refineries Mm-hmm. Refineries, right? Coming to the refineries yeah. from the tanker. refine tanker. Sometimes to the tanker first. Sorry. Tanker to the tanker to the tanker first. Then your yeah, finally go. Is it. go yeah, the, from the oil its storage tank, it will be with a pipeline or a whatever offloading cargo okay. ship will come into the picture or whatever the thing is coming to the land, right? After land, yeah. it will be going by pipeline or directly with uh, tanker, lorries or whatever the thing, mm. a vessel, any yeah. vehicle or whatever may be. Then that uh, fluid has to be going to the refineries. Yes. In that refinery, some process is going to happen. Yes. So, uh, what I am planning to is that from this understanding, this is the only vessels equipment for oil separation means the slug catcher, the separator, electrostatic equalizer, and then the cooler. Uh, everything will be coming into the picture, right? Okay. So, as per this understanding, for our uh, uh, memories, what I am. going to make it is that oil separation like that mm-hmm. if the process is coming means yes oil separation mm-hmm. means we name it as for our understanding and memorizing we can sec we can have identity as sec mm-hmm. for our memories 
mm-hmm. we can make it as oil separation means sec mm-hmm. sec means what yes for separator mm-hmm. and e for electrostatic collider mm-hmm. and c for cooler okay so like that we can memorize and we can mm-hmm. have it so mm-hmm. if anyone asked means what is the oil separation process is going to means what are the main equipments will come into picture means we can tell them separator electrostatic equalizer and cooler will be coming and in between that the pump will be used for uh, uh, for the pa- passing for suction and uh, making the thing the pumps will be coming into the picture if some slugs are there means the slug catcher the sand filter will be coming into the picture and if uh, the separator is not uh, requ- the requirement of the production separator is not okay means we'll go for the extra lp separator llp separator will come into the picture like that we can tell if you want to give what is oil separation like that if any questions will arise means we can tell uh, in a short way there is a three main equipments will come into the picture that is separator electrostatic equalizer and cooler that is called a sec s e c sec like that we can name it for our memorize so in future after 5 10 years if you anyone ask means we have to tell the three equipment separator electrostatic equalizer cooler that is called sec so like that we tell means gas separation also what i will may name it as for gas separation the naming i am planning to give is at csc csc so what are that csc that we going to see now oil separation is scc separator electrostatic laser and cooler these are the main equipments mm-hmm. coming into the picture gas separation mm-hmm. means csc mm-hmm. that csc arrangement now we are going to see so now mm-hmm. from this slug catcher or from production separator the two things will be coming the water and oil will be coming this outlet will be going to the stabilization module there the electrostatic laser lp separator llp separator will be there then oil cooler will be there the oil thing yes. will be going right so this is mm-hmm. considered as a production separator or like that something we can tell from mm-hmm. this these things will be going okay yeah. yes now the uh, thing outlet was gas the gas yes. how it's going to work out means gas here the three main equipments will come into picture is compressor yeah compressor so bomber and cooler squat bar and cooler yes mm-hmm. but exactly we can say scrubber compressor and cooler that means here also it's uh, yes csc 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 only from uh, first equipment it will be going is that from the production separator it will be go first to the cooler only cooler yeah then from the cooler it will be going to the scrubber and then it's going to the compressor this is the first stage again this stage will be considered as the lp stage or something right mm-hmm. then again it will be going to the next stage
this is cool here. <laughs> I can't get that Okay. Right. So this is that MP medium pressure and then low pressure and then the high pressure will be coming into the picture. So mm -hmm. for that only the same equipment arrangement will be there. First stage, second stage and third stage. Mm -hmm. Okay. So these mm -hmm. are the equipment arrangement will be there. And then finally the gas deadization means then that the glycol conductor, connector, the glycol generation, that things and the, the dehydration will be taken care. Everything will be there and then the dry gas will be collected. Yeah. So, so as per this, that the cooler, gas cooler, the compressor and the scrubbers and the glycol connector, that skid, these things will be coming into the picture. Mm -hmm. So these are the vessels and the arrangement will be there. Mm -hmm. Understand? Yes. So these are the arrangement of the vessels in the gas separation. So we can make it as the CSC. So that means CSC will be coming into the picture. Yes. We understood. So this is for our memories. We know C for cooler. Cooler. And then the scrubber and then uh, compressor. Yes. So now the remaining thing was that water, water separation we have to make. Yes. So for water separation, here we are going to use is that HDC. HDC. This is the uh, reference name. SEC, mm -hmm. CSC, and HDC. SEC, CSC, HDC. This is a memorize we can have. Mm -hmm. So here, the thing will be coming into the picture. Means what all the things means? Here, water means the first thing will be coming is that that hydrocyclone hydrocyclone yeah. hydrocyclone will be coming into picture and then the degassers will be there the if any gas will be coming and then the third will be the cooler yeah. Yeah. in between that if any sand is there means we go for the sand filter before the hydrocyclone we go for the sand filter if requirement is done mm -hmm. and then here for the degasser some high uh, gas gas tank has to be there right that uh, supply the uh, gas tank supply has to be there right so yes, the, the, the gas true. has to be recollected that means yes, some hydrocarbon actually yes, to remove yes, the yes. gas what we are going to do is that we have to remove the gas from the degasser for that that hydrocarbon mm -hmm. hydrocarbon gas uh, was going to inject here the degasser and because of this hydrocarbon uh, that uh, gas was merged and it will be coming out 
so like that some hydrocarbons uh, tanks will be used some uh, some catalyst some we will be adding and that has to be remove the gases which available in the water content that will be removed and that will be mm-hmm. going to the flash flushed off tank yeah it will be yeah. flushed flushed uh, mm-hmm. and then it will be collected in some tanks and uh, that will be again uh, passed to the lp lp, LP stage lp mm-hmm. compress gas separation model the remaining gases which collected yeah, will be go to the gas compression this this gas which we collected from the degasser will be directly read to the gas collection right so, uh yes yes this can use on uh, yeah this again the gases will be going to the gas separation model so the lp separation it will be going like that the routing has to be done it will going to this module then again the gases process will be going to happen here mm so then the collected water will be uh, take going to some tanks and then that will be used for the purpose what are the purpose is there means that purpose uh, it will be going right yeah what else so so we came to know that what are all the equipments will be coming here again uh, this uh, guy con everything was happen means then the uh, header which we going to collect the gas is called the equipment name is called gas lift header hmm here oil storage tank for oil is the oil storage tank we going to tell we are telling that uh, for oil consider as a oil storage tank right the gas also gas leak is for the fuel gas and then the dry gas right yeah the gases is consider as uh, for the fuel gas or whatever they did and any separation is required in that means that will process will be done and uh, because this gas uh, all the things will be the right meet and eat, everything will be com- combined combined and combinations will be the right then uh, the extraction if based on the requirement the process will be there then uh, that arrangement equipment arrangement will be come in the picture and that will be used for the purpose mm-hmm. in detail if you want to remove the gas maybe gas also is a mixture of some many gases that has to be as to segregate means they use some chemical or some any special catalyst and they will make it so just uh, if we want to know is that what is the fuso what is happening in the fuso what is the separation is going to happen means this is the main thing oil gas and water yeah for that we need to understand what is the equipment if any question this is we can understand means these are the main name which we have to memorize mm-hmm. i just i from gas cooler and the degasser and cooler will be coming into the picture yeah. so now here the common thing will is that from this three you understand the common thing is the right one vessel is common yes. yeah it is cooler mm common yeah cooler cooler is the main thing i think we can make it separate here zooming from 25 to 50 only <laughs> okay. okay that much zooming so okay now we understand that so cooler is coming into the picture so here the common thing we can see is that 
cooler is a exchanger if you name it is the what is the name vessel we consider is that so cooler cooler and all some on exchanger type of exchanger right yes yes so we want to learn what are all the exchangers what is the type of exchangers what is the things everything we have to understand mm mm-hmm. this not so so what type it, it look like is a two and two type like the cell type cell type exchanger for most of these three type the cooler here main so here okay Yeah, Shell shell and tube is there, plate exchanger uh, is there, uh, some fire type, the something, price. many types are there, many vessels are there, many types, shell tube, double pipe, air cooled, spiral type, like that many types are there oh, in exchangers. So, uh, so, I will tell you, I have some presentation for you. how the mm-hmm. exchangers we can type make it different types okay mm-hmm. i will mm-hmm. show some presentation in what basis the exchangers will be using mm-hmm. yes okay whether you need some break no need no need <laughs> because i need just one minute i will come back Someone okay okay then, then, oh, okay yeah no problem uh, yeah, yeah one second This conference will now be recorded. So now we understand uh, this is the main equipments which was involved in the separation process, the crude stabilization, separation and then that uh, oil storage and then gas means the first stage, second stage and third stage that is called the LP, MP and HP and the dehydration modules. and what is the pro- produce water treatment module so all the these things mm. what is the modules what is the equipments mm. the names which mm. we understand now in that yes. which are all the criticals and which is going to come into for the stress analysis that mm. is the next pro- thing right yes here yes. the pumps will be there from separator to the electrostatic equalizer some pump we are going to use yes then the pump will come into the picture yes and then here lp separators will be there also means one lp separator will be there means in between that also one pump will be coming into the picture one pump will be coming in between the lp separator electrostatic equalizer and then the lp separator then lp separator to the cooler so this is the arrangement of the equipments and there is the flow flow you can tell this as a flow chart or something we can tell this is the equipment uh, thing the arrangement the separator uh, the pump electrostatic equalizer pump separator and cooler so this is the arrangement if any heater is required if if you want to heat the crude uh, that means the heaters will be coming into the picture before the before the separator if heater will take means means the oil heater will come into picture oil heater come into picture if required requirement is there normal is to the separator they require what temperature to heat heat out yeah if required i am telling it's not a necessary things based on their project requirement if any uh, some of you so not all the few so it's not a mandatory the main mandatory vessel means the red highlighted only the separator cooler electricity equalizer and cooler mm-hmm. LP separator is based on the requirement. If another LLP separator is required, also that also based on the requirement. So main equipment okay. means separator, electricity equalizer, and cooler. This definitely will be available in all the FUs. Yes. So remaining things are all based on the requirements and uh, that process need. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So that means comp- gas separation means cooler, scrubber, and compressor will be there. In between, any extra things will be coming means then that is the based on the requirement from the process. 
like that only yes. for auto suppression so this is the thing we can name it oil means s e c and then oil means it's s e c and then gas means c s c and water means h d c like that we can understand and we can memorize okay this is a short terminology for our knowledge purpose for memorizing we can use so like that mm-hmm. we can consider okay yes so in this in the future sessions will be how means we are going to see each thing here we can shortlist uh, which are all the exchangers and which are all be the uh, static equipments and which are all becoming the rotating equipments like that we can segregate mm-hmm. the static equipments rotating equipments mm-hmm. like that in static okay. equipments which are all the heat exchangers mm-hmm. that the exchangers cool. yeah mm-hmm. heat exchanger or cool exchanger some exchangers the type of mm-hmm. exchangers type of mm-hmm. exchangers which are all mm-hmm. coming into picture that one come so that means that the heater cooler will be the exchangers mm-hmm. uh, most probably we know shell and tube Mm-hmm. and the plate exchanger exchanger yes so this is the our understanding right yeah yes okay. so the air cooler pump pump they using the air cooler yeah that is the requirement if air cooler is the requirement then air cooler is the uh, like that we can go so in each and every vessel so in detail also we can see okay how the separator in separator what was inside and what is there in like slug how we seen we going to see in the future classes each and everything mm-hmm. what is inside and what is the process behind that and we can see and then for extra i am going to tell you is that what are the equipment arrangement in the onshore piping also i am going to tell you okay mm-hmm. the next session i will tell you because this is the vessel arrangement in the fuso mm mm-hmm. these are the arrangement of the vessels in the fuso in this is called offshore that your show yes yes you are yeah, yeah. now yeah, in yeah. onshore also how mm-hmm. in refineries mm-hmm. <laughs> refinery that crude oil will be going to process and mm-hmm. based on that what are all the products which are going to get that details also we can see in detail the details you required right that all that knowledge also you needed mm, i think on so so far <laughs> i don't know too much i maybe we focus on the fpso or maybe pick this platform uh we finally maybe you can introduce but we just focus on the also first maybe okay now our focus on offshore and uh, base probably this is going to go offshore means obviously that fpso mm-hmm. will come into the picture and then the fixed mm-hmm. platforms so yeah, two category yeah yeah kind of kind of two category first because if later when it was i think we can but the, the thing is that these two we can finish the uh, mm. both the things will be going to take place in the seabed only yeah both will be coming in the seabed only the yes, seabed only yes. this thing will be this is the floating one this is the fixed mm-hmm. one that's it from the naming yeah, itself yeah. we can know yeah so here in the one hull hull is that means all the equipment will be arranged in one hull right yes 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 if the arrangement in the one hull means then that is the fso if mo- the same module was arranged in some platform means then that is the fixed platforms yes that's it yes we can tell so that means most probably the understanding what we need is that what is crude stabilization what is crude separation like that the question will be rising means 
we understood that these are the equipments will coming into the picture yes other is a fixed platform or a fuso this is the equipment arrangement mm. if a fixed platform means what will be coming into picture uh, this manifold will be in one platform the separation will be in one platform the stabilization mm-hmm. may be two platforms may be there maybe the electrostatic equalizer and the lp separator alone in one platform and the lp separator and the oil cooler alone in another platform like that they may be based on that uh, arrangement uh, the based on the process requirement the arrangement will be there mm-hmm. like that uh, the arrangement so each module will be as a single different different platforms mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. like that may be the arrangement will be there mm-hmm. okay Mm. Okay. So now stress point of view we have to learn how to do the analyze for mm-hmm. pump pump is the thing okay. that is the yeah, rotating pump. equipment yes yeah. so static uh, rotating equipment means rotating equipment mm. rotating mm. pump pump Compressor. and then compressor will be coming into picture mm-hmm. then exchangers means static cooler cooler exchanger cooler reboiler reboiler or mm-hmm. oil heater we can say reboiler or yeah, heater yeah, also yeah, based yeah. on the requirement mm-hmm. heater that thing will mm-hmm. be the Uh, yeah. these are all some exchangers will coming into the picture yeah. the remaining are all some static equipments uh, pressure vessels we can tell that means that separators equalizer like static equalizers uh, then lp separators everything will be coming electrician will be separators okay. coming and the scrubber also will be coming into picture this yeah. things and all will be considered and that has to be taken care hydrocyclone yes hydrocyclone everything the cyclone big as yes, sir yes so this thing sandal will be coming into the picture mm-hmm. right yes so here the main analyze techniques we want to learn is that this thing will be coming into the picture from as a different pump. separate board is there but if tanks also we can consider tanks separate tanks also we going going to consider api 650 code we are going to use yeah compressor or pump api 610 we are going to use or compressor mm-hmm. api 617 we are going to use for centrifugal compressor centrifugal pumpins these are the codes mm-hmm. and then for this things and all reboiler analyzing have some concepts mm-hmm. reboiler analyze if you want to do that is a special concepts are there standby methods are there for shell and tube reboilers and all there is some mm-hmm. concepts techniques is there for doing the analysis mm-hmm. i will tell you mm-hmm. the techniques for reboiler how to do mm-hmm. and the remaining static equipments oil cooler everything and all is a normal analysis the concepts which already i told you we can try mm-hmm. any any one of the vessel and how to do the analysis we can see mm-hmm. okay mm-hmm. so the major mm-hmm. thing is that the pump compressor the reboiler the tank like that will be there if any de- dehydrator uh, degenerator like that if a derator de- like that if coming into picture means then that column analyze has, has to be taken care mm-hmm. mm-hmm. 
any deerator or any thing will be columns column running to our tower that name if any terminology is coming means for that the special analysis the what is the analyzing techniques the details we need in detail okay so main analysis the cool and the ways scattered away air cooler air cooler yes yeah. air cooler our normal cool water the cooler is a type of exchanger right because Any special thing maybe yeah yeah some code for this one also api somehow i i not remember for the air cooler is uh, yeah, one code for checking this uh, nodo check air cooler okay Okay, air for air cooler. The code, I think. Uh, just one time, we'll check it. Six six one, I feel. Air cooler heat exchanger. Something like that. Mm. Yeah. Air cooler heat exchanger. Mm. We have to use API six six one. So, what is the concept behind that one? We can see. Hmm. so this is is the major thing as a entry level as a pressure for going for a stress analysis means this is the major thing and this is the most thing make you as a expert if you know this concept for analyzing method that is more than enough yeah, actually, i want to want, want to want to the modeling and then start the <laughs> start the analytic and then the model checking that's why i incorporate this more all of the detail <laughs> I want to start. <laughs> yeah, right. We can model. Hmm. Let's. We will check it and how to balance. We can understand and we can do. I try for some models and I will okay. give some uh, okay, just sketches. Some models, then how we do the modeling? Then uh, later I will see how we, I can model it. Also, come with some type. I already system. told you how to do the model, right? That was understandable and clear, right? The previous I, sessions. I, I, Whether again you want to I, me so to far, take? I remember only the pump. <laughs> the pump. I so far I only remember the pump and then the tower. Maybe I need to go and take take one, take two. Okay, right. I will tell you how to model the reboiler, how to model the column. I already told. Again, I will refresh it. Yeah. And the pump, the yeah. pump compressor modeling also same concept only. There is no difference in modeling. Okay. So the pump compressor modeling are same concept. Here is a suction discharge. That is the nozzle, right? Pump or compressor, both the things. The suction nozzle and discharge nozzle will be there. The same concepts only we are going to model here. So the modeling concept for pump and compressor was same. There is no issue. The analyzing methods also, techniques also will be the same. The only thing is that the codes will be different. Here the frequency vibration check we are going to do means maybe in pump they some company will ask to maintain four uh, hertz or five hertz. For compressor they ask to maintain seven hertz. Even some seven hertz, eight hertz, yeah, like that. Also, sometimes the frequency check they want to do. So that means the guide gap, everything we have to make it more rigid. So the vibration will be avoided in the compressor. So that is the main thing will be coming to the picture. The analyzing techniques. Okay, well, uh, I will refer the code and I will tell you how to do and what is how by referring the code. What is the technique inside? That also I will tell you in detail. Mm-hmm. How to refer? Everything can be. I will make it a single single sessions for uh, this. Thank you. Is API six one zero just for the scientific pump or for all pump? I don't remember. Scientific like, both uh, uh, and the compressor both are scientific only. Okay, if not scientific, like other pump, how we're going to do do the modeling or the model check? Yeah, for this, these both are centrifugal only. For this, how to do the analyzing method, I will definitely tell you. Mm-hmm. Both are centrifugal only, pump and compressor both. Mm-hmm. Maybe like the some pump will maybe not like a school pump, ah, uh, school pump or 
mga ano, system bang, bro, uh, low bang, maybe I don't know how they're going to do this. Okay, pumps, uh, many pumps are there. Is it for getting pump, uh, 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 yes. wall control volume pump, pressure cell control volume pump, like that, uh, many things are there. Okay, but uh, centrifugal is more than enough because most of the projects we are going nowadays, which is going for the centrifugal pump, APA 610 only are going. So, mm-hmm. this is more than enough. This knowledge is more than enough. Okay. So, uh, the equipment arrangement and uh, what is the code and what is the analyzing method in the by next next class we're going to see okay so now just a small presentation which i prepared for you uh, mm-hmm. i will share uh, for the exchange okay 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 god you are seeing my presentation right yeah yeah this one i know so just uh, thing it's a shell and tube exchanger means this is the thing just an image I keep now the types of the classification of the exchangers heat exchangers based on many things are there here if based on the operations based on the principle of operation means there are three category we can consider what are the category and what is the definitions the definitions twice I am going to explain you okay mm-hmm. so the recuperative and regenerative and the direct contact like that the three category the exchangers are being taken care that means mm-hmm. uh, recuperative means in this type of exchanger the cold and the hot fluid flow through the unit without mixing with each other whether the cold fluid or liquid hot fluid which both are coming means without mixing each other they will run in the individually running in the pipes like that only the arrangement will be there here the transfer of heat occurs through the metal walls that means uh, the wall to wall based on that only the heat transfer will be there this type of heaters or exchangers are considered as a boiler heater cooler it is a condensers for this yeah. this is the process requirement for this process requirement mm. and so on this type of things will be coming to that so yeah. regenerative exchangers means uh, is a type of exchanger same heating transfer only is there exposed to hot and cold fluid here heat associated with the hot fluid is stored or absorbed by picking or solid the hot fluid supply is then shut off and the cold fluid is passed over picking or solid to the region. That means the same connection, the both the fluid, the one first the hot fluid will be going and it makes the metal heat and then it will be came out and then the cold will be going inside means that it will take from the uh, metal itself by picking or soliding. So the, uh, this, uh, this type of another heater, the same line both the fluids will be ro- 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 rotating. This is a type of vessels. These vessels means where the examples will be in the open earth for furnace, gas melting furnace. For this uh, exchangers and all, this method of exchangers will be coming into picture. Mm-hmm. For examples, for furnace, glass melting furnace for open earth furnace. These furnaces are used means uh, maybe in onshore anything for heating purpose, this furnace may be used. Here, this type of uh, heating exchange will be taking at the same tube understand right yeah so here this both the types sometimes we call as a surface condenser so for condenser like that if any vessels are coming means these are the exchangers uh, will be considered this methods based on the operations we can tell and then the third method we can tell is the direct contact in that exchanger hot and cold fluid are in direct contact and mixing occurs among them during the process that means the hot and cold fluid both will be mixed to make the heat heat transfer mm-hmm. so that is the difference from you can understand here the both are from both the fluid going separately and there there is no mixing with each other and here regenerative means 
one fluid will pass the hot fluid will pass and it will come out then the metal have some heat then the again the cold fluid will be passed in the same metal and it will absorb the heat it's like a picking the heat so that is the one method and then direct contact is the another third method here is that both the hot and cold field fluid will be mixed in the same pipe hmm. so others at the time both will be come into the picture and then heat transfer will be occur mm mm-hmm. so this types and all the scrubbers that the column cooling towers these exchangers mm-hmm. are considered as a direct conduct so this is based on the operation how the process operation is going to take care means for this is the three methods we can say mm-hmm. and based on the flow pattern the heat exchangers we can name is three patterns we can say so co current flow arrangement here hot and cold fluid in the same direction it is called the parallel flow arrangement hot fluid uh-huh. and cold fluid in the same direction if it's flowing means that it's a co current and the counter current means the hot and cold in the opposite direction the hot fluid yes. will be running the inlet will be here outlet will be there for cold the inlet will be here outlet will be there in the opposite direction if the yeah. fluid was moving means then that naming is the counter current and this is the co current and then the cross flow if it's make a tri- angle if it's like cross flow is there means then that that is the another flow method right the arrangement of the vessel inside the exchanger the arrangement of the tube arrangement this is the three methods the arrangement based on the flow pattern also the exchanger can be made the co current flow uh, arranging it exchanger the counter current or current cross flow like that also we can tell based on the flow the exchanger mm-hmm. may be typed classified and then mm-hmm. based on the function also we can classify it. that is the naming we already know for chilling purpose we consider the chiller heater mm-hmm. evaporator cooler then vaporizer reboiler condenser steam generator or waste heater so these are all the type of exchangers only mm-hmm. so these vessels means everything will be here yeah, exchangers only if uh, this is the vessel name based on this name we can conclude that this will be coming as a vessel this is based on the function we can tell the vaporizer is required for to vaporize it and reboiler means to reheat the content and the cooling purpose the cooler will be there and evaporation purpose the evaporator will be there for condensation the condenser will come into the picture. so like that based on that function of the purpose of the uh, project the equipment this vessel the equipment will be coming into the picture and then mm-hmm. the types we know based on construction is a cell and tube is there bio and dub, double air cooled spiral and plate like that many exchangers will be coming to yeah. here for shell and tube most probably i seen for fuso and all the shell and tube will be coming for the heating purpose and the plate type will be coming for the cooling purpose okay So like that only most of the vessels if i checked the, the drawings equipment gi means most probably the plate type will be considered for the cooling cooler and the shell and yeah. tube will consider as a heater for mm-hmm. heating purpose like mm-hmm. that only the exchangers will be used yes so this is the thing i just i want to share you the type okay. of exchangers and uh, in what basis the exchangers are there then we came to know which are all the exchangers right hmm right so i think now today we can conclude the session and we understand what is the equipment arrangement and what is inside each and every module and in detail we will see each and everything and what is the analyzing techniques and everything clear mm 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 okay i think today we can finish our session and then uh, the next session the fresh topic we can take the manifold or the equation that tomorrow only we will decide <laughs> <laughs> okay <laughs> okay <laughs>